Come on, put your hands together. Yes, you ever as well. But you are down, Muxenza. Put it the Chigambonga Chigamba. Sengam Bera Muxenza work with you. Era ne mubera bumu mualiba de wala. Then in every gun baby send you every empty denti. A beam your cana. Tins and echitangi. To have anger bumu. That's why I used to do many and many and many things. Ebaswe <laughs> Aja kuba damu singa muni ikira okumuno nyanga. Amen. Never never to devali over devali na fe over. Those who are seated are they? Sister, are you sick? Olimora den. Namu dungo cha limuto. When we are worshipping brethren, the Lord is calling us unity means that we do the same thing at the same time. But the Lord is speaking and many of you are hearing the voice of God. Many of you continue to hear the voice of God. But I felt like we needed to take this session of worship. Because I know something is broken. I don't know what it is, but I feel something is broken. The powers of darkness have been pushed back. I say the powers of darkness have been pushed back. For some of you, tomorrow, when the week starts, there is a new victory. I say there is a new victory. For some of you, the burdens that have been, you've been carrying all along, the Lord has lifted that burden. And there will be a testimony. There will be a testimony in your house. The Lord will give you a new song. The Lord will do a new thing. I felt as we were worshipping. We are not just singing and glorifying the Lord. But we are making declarations over the forces of evil that had gathered around us and against us. They are scattered in seven directions. Maybe those who have not trapped you are the ones who have come with those forces. Omani. But we thank God, do not chase here with those are testing that here there is God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are worshipping. There is something that is broken. There is something that was broken. There is something that was pushed back. There are some things that God has broken. And this week, some of you have testimonies. Say amen. Tell your neighbor that it is so. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm glad I came. Tell your neighbor, I'm glad I came. Amen. 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 You may take your seat.
Let me take a few minutes. I will share the word of God briefly. And I'm, uh, in the morning, I started speaking on the eight watches of prayer. And I'm going, I'm going to, to do among, about three of them today. On Wednesday, I will do more. The rest, I will put them on, on the, the church platform, the WhatsApp group. group. But we are talking about prayer. We started doing two, two hours and 40 minutes of our time. At the tithes of our time daily. And that's just the beginning. And I'm, I'm telling you people. If you be faithful. If you stay on the course. If you persist. If you develop persistence, if you build a pattern until it is established, in these times we are in, you are going to do and uh, you are going to undo a lot of things that the enemy has built against you over the years. You break brick by brick. Every evil wall and broke the enemy built around you. Amen. Amen. Say amen. In this season, the Lord is doing a new thing. But also, you need to know how the kingdom functions. Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, The secrets belong to God. But what is revealed to us belong to us. Go, the kingdom has secrets. And if you understand how the kingdom functions, the patterns and the methods and the ways of God. You'll be able to walk with him. And understand what he does. Amen. Amen. And so we, we uh, uh, in the morning I started talking about the eight watches of prayer. Every day has 24 hours. And that day God has divided eight portions we call watches. There watches. And there are eight in 24 hours. That makes it every watch carries three hours. Watches are three hours. Every watch carries three hours. So the, uh, the day starts at 6 a.m. in the morning. But let me, let me give you these scriptures. Habakkuk 2.1 Habakkuk says, I will stand at my watch and set myself on a rampart and you want to see what he will say to me. And what I will answer when I'm corrected. This is the prophet. He has a personal watch. He says, at my watch, I will stand. No sleep. I will watch. And then I will see what he will say to me. God speaks. In those watches. When you make an appointment with God. And you decide what time you'll be praying. Heaven takes you so serious. That God will be at the place. At the hour you promise you'll be there. Are you, look, are you following me people? Are you following me? When you say. I will wake up and pray at 7. The angel writes down and informs God that your son has an appointment with you every day at 7. And every 7, the Lord will come at the appointed place at the appointed time. God Katonda. is a timekeeper. God Katonda. keeps appointments. That's why he is called a covenant keeping God. Katonda 
It's the same as keeping his word. It's the same standard that God holds against each one of us. You say something, heaven has no space for jokes. When you say something, heaven doesn't have the space that I'm joking. Whatever you say, the angels write down. Everything you don't mean, the Bible calls them idle words. And those idle words, Jesus said, will be used again in suing judgment. So this is what you do. If you say something you don't mean, you need to repent of it and pull it out. Because every, every, every word you say is released as a sound. And science has proved that sound travels. When you say, like my sound now, it goes into waves. It will never end. My sound goes on forever. So every word you say, once it enters the realm of waves, the only way you can pull it back is called repentance. When you repent of an idol, heaven pulls it back as if it never existed. For everything you say, and you never repent of, he still works against you. And so, when you say, I'm going to tithe my time, and you make an appointment of time, God takes you serious. If you can't make it on time, you need to inform God that that I'm sorry God, I am not going to be available this time because I am not in the same place I, I told you. Just God, the Spirit of God, is very, very diligent at keeping time. Yesterday we are here in the ministers' meeting, and I was arresting people who came late. We are trying to be serious with that time management. We want to be people of Kawempe Worship Center that are so reliable that people can say if that person goes to that church, if they said it, it's good as done. And I said, if they said it, it's done. They will be here. I want people to say, you are so blessed to be connected to those people. They are a people of their word. They are accountable. If they are late, they will call you before time. We want to be those people. And so, the second scripture, Isaiah 62.6. The Bible says, I have, I've set a watch, I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace. Day or night. You who make mention of the, of the, of the Lord do not keep silent. This Isaiah is talking about watchmen. Watchmen are those people in ancient times the watch and the workers get keepers. Most cities in Israel would build walls and then they would put they would be so wide like the, wall, the wall of Jericho was so wide that you could ride a horse around the wall on the top of the wall. And so on the top of that wall, every three hours they would place a man and he had one job to look out outside and see anything that approaching the city. And then you will alert the city that someone is coming 
wajao. So these walls were supposed to see about two, three miles away from the city. And if the watchman said there is someone coming, the gates will open and they will send out a, a, a horseman to meet that those people away from the city. And the preaching will go like this. Do you come in peace? Are you for us or against our enemies? And if those people were enemies, the horseman would turn around and start to blow a, a trumpet to warn the people in the city. Run! Take cover! Get ready! The enemy is approaching and everyone in the city will get up and fight. This is, this is what Isaiah is talking about. He says, I have set watch they watch day and night they never sleep so even us in the church we who are called spiritual people to watch is to pray to, to pray is to watch anytime you read in the especially in the new testament about sleep it means prayerlessness. My people are sleeping. That means people are not praying. Anytime a person stops praying, you actually dream them. Some people will dream them when they are dead. Some of them, some of them is not that they are physically dead. It's because they have taken a back seat of, the, of their prayer life. And their spiritual man has gone dumb. And it's cold. And therefore, there is, no, there is no life in them in the spirit. And so Isaiah says, I have set watchmen over you. Watchmen are also very prophetic people. They see from afar. God uses them to see things before anyone sees them. The reason why we have these two giving prophetic words is if you talk to them privately, they will tell you about their prayer life. That they have taken a time to tithe their time. And, and now they, they can, can hear the voice. Those of you that have not started tithing your time, you are wondering, wow, does the voice of God sound like? Sleepy people don't hear nothing. You had people who say the thieves came, they opened the door, and they pulled me off the bed. They took the mattress. They took the blanket. They took the TV. They took the phone. It's only the neighbors who woke me up. And say your, your door was, was open. And when I checked, I was on the floor. Sleepy people. When you don't pray, you can't watch. Isaiah 21.6 For thus says the Lord to me, go set a watchman, a watchman. Let him declare what he sees. Watchmen see. So the day is divided in three, in eight watches. Every watch, every watch has three hours. And there, you can find these watches all over your Bible. The Jewish people, that's how they prayed. They prayed according to hours. The Bible is full of instructions of what happens each hour. And what you, you specifically need to pray for during those hours. Jesus says in Luke 12.37 12.37 and 38 Blessed are those servants whom the master when he comes will find them watching. Watching. The master comes. This is a parable about 
Jesus returned. He's asking, will the Son of Man find them believing? And so then he gave them a parable of a man who went away and left his servants in charge and told them, feed your fellow servants. And so he says, blessed is that servant who the master when he comes who find watching. Jesus, when he comes, he wants to pick and find a praying church. Assuredly, I said to you that he will guard himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. But Jesus mentions two watches. These are the most difficult watches of the night. Okay. The, the second and the third watch the second and the third watch are the most difficult ones. So Jesus mentioned them and said, Blessed are those that servant. servant. If the master comes, are those difficult watches. The second or the third. I will tell you why they are so difficult. So I want you to understand time and season are key to kingdom people. When God opens That gate is what God is doing in that particular time and season. If you pray for something else that's not that not belong that to that gate, you will so get discouraged because you are praying out of season. You are doing things out of order. Are you following me, people? Are you following me? God opens doors. These watches are doors. These, these gates are gates. These watches are gates. They open and when they open, God assigns each watch specific angels for specific assignments. Angels come to assist us when we start to pray. Angels, when you kneel down on your knees, the first thing that God would do is to send angels to come to your side. When Jesus was praying, yes, we are here, angels came. Malaika Zajja. In Matthew 4, the Bible says Bible they came Zajja. and served him. Every time you pray, God releases angels because angels and intercession are together. Your prayers releases certain angels but you need to know which angel to to, to you, we don't pray to angels. We don't pray to angels. But angels are carriers. They come to aid us. We pray to God. We pray to the Father through we Jesus' name. We don't talk to angels. And surely the angels don't talk back to you. They are not supposed to talk to you. Your communication is with God. But angels come to assist you when you start to pray. For the Bible says, John 5, 4. For an angel went down at a certain time in the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped into the water first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had. Angel, he was not supposed to heal. 
He was supposed to stir the water. Whatever he did, he would stir that water. And the water would start boiling. And whoever jumped in, will get healed immediately. And Jesus said, and the, the gospel says there was this man who was crippled. So he was at a pool all the time. But because he was unable to move himself, every time the angels start the water, someone else will jump in first. And so the man stayed there for a long time. Because sick people knew the specific time. The Angel start the water. But he was not assigned to push anyone in. That's not their responsibility. This is what you need to understand about angels. They are ministering spirits and they are very, very rigid in their operations. They are non flexible at all. They are like military people. Order ni order. Whatever God tells them, that's exactly what they do. They don't talk to you. Even if you, God opens your eyes to see them, they don't negotiate. They are not flexible. Angels work on specific orders. And they are not very kind. When they say, go and pick that one. That's what they do. They pick you. You You may may shout. You may cry. You may do. They don't listen. That's the nature of angels. So, the the, the angels and your prayer life are attached. You need to also to understand that this physical world, the world we live in, is ruled and overshadowed by another, another world called the spiritual world. If, if you, it's only by prayer that we in the physical world are able to connect into the spiritual world. And once you learn how to operate in the spiritual world, That's how it works. Everywhere in the world. In the dark world, that you can swim in, even without a reason. Have you seen those, those people who go to music concerts? And this one person comes, and they're half naked, and people are pushing each other to grab. Those musicians have nothing to give. Number one, you pay that the interest to come in. Number two, you are spending a sleepless night to go watch and hear them. But the way people push each other to come near them, it should amaze you. It's not because those people have something special. It's because they are connected to another world. That influences crowds. People can easily turn into mobs. You ask them, why are you supporting so and so? No reason. Those people have pulled, have gone deep into the dark world. And they've got influence over men. We we'll keep explaining these things until you understand. Those pictures of those musicians beside your bed. That's a sign. 
that something is raining in your life and you don't have control over it. The spiritual world rules over the physical world. But thank God we carry the spirit of God. For no weapon forms against you can prosper. You, I, don't fear, I don't fear witches. I don't fear false prophets. I fear no one. Because the Bible, my Bible confirmed that greater is he who is in me than he who is with them. I like the scripture in the Old Testament that says that there are many with us than with them. So let's go through some of these watches. First watch. It starts at 6 to, to 9, uh, to nine, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is called the sunset time. It's what we call the evening time. In Luke 440, the Bible says when the sun was setting, all those who had any any that were any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him and he laid hands on them and healed them. He's talking about Jesus. He taught. And when the sun was setting, when there was evening, there was healing. This evening watch is a healing watch. This is when you pray for healing. And if, if you've been in meetings where, where healing evangelists go to from six from 6, 7, 8, and 9, the angel that carries the giftings of healing, the spirit of healing, is always manifested at these hours. Why? It's a wind of healing. Jesus could have healed them in the morning, and he was in the evening hour. He releases healing over them. So this hour is very key. Usually, for the Jewish for the Jewish people, this watch is this where they hear their family altars. This is when you pray for family. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. Pray for your extended family. Pray for your mother. You pray for your father, your sibling, and everyone connected to you. It's a time of intercession for families and marriages. It's a time of, of healing for the sick. It's a time of restoration. And the, the, the Jewish people who also recite the, the Shema prayer. Shema was prayed twice a day. In the morning watch, but also in the evening watch. The Shema prayer is recorded in Deuteronomy 6. I think verse 4 that says Hear O Israel The Lord your God is one And you shall him And him alone shall you serve Obey his commandments For it is him who brought you out of the land of Egypt Into the promised land You shall have no other God Beside him So this evening watch Six to nine you have gone through the day and you've done what you need to do. It's a time to renew your covenant. You remember the Lord your God by reflecting what you've done during the day. others. Before you go to bed, you should renew your covenant. It's a time of repentance for what you've done and said during the day. For the Roman Catholics have said, we sin without action. In thinking, in imagination. So this
Hezo. I repent Nene and nye. I ask you to forgive me. Nye. I renew my covenant with you. Zizo, you are nye. my God. Yegwe, katonda, I have no other. Si, you renew your covenant. No, za, ujenda, gano, yo. You don't go to bed Togenda, with an open door for the enemy to attack you in your sleep. No, muri, yango, mugulo, mlaba, so, kulo, muga, Sin, muklo, anytime you go to bed without repentance, Buli, wogendo, kwe, bakanga, te, wene, without yisa. renewing your covenant. You leave an open door for the enemy to torment you in your dream world in your time of sleep and in the darkest moment of the day. So before you eat, I don't know when you eat, but but this this evening watch is very, very important. Renew your covenant. Pray for restoration for what you lost during the day. Pray for forgiveness. Pray for healing. This is when you sit down and you feel, oh my God, my back. I've been standing all day. Watch number two. Starts at nine p.m. to twelve p.m. No. A.m. To midnight. 9 p.m. to midnight. Luke 12. 37. Blessed are those whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will guard himself and, give, and have them sit to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. I told you, the second watch is very hard. This is when you sleep when you are walking. You, for those of you that work with phys, phys, uh, use physical um, Power energy to work. By nine. <laughs> your body is done. You are tired. You sit in that chair. And you go off. This is when you put your food in the mouth. And the mouth forget there is food in your mouth. This is where you put the fork. In the plate. And you forget the fork forgets where the mouth is. The second watch is the tired watch. So that's why Jesus is saying, blessed are those persons, servants, if the, if the master comes in the second watch and you find them watching, or in the third watch and you find them watching, why? Because they have every reason to go to bed and sleep. And you can do anything you want to them in their sleep. The second watch is a hard one. But it's also a watch that you need to go to bed with not without the word of God. Because this is when the Lord is feeding his people. Feeding your soul with what you read during the day. The spirit of the Lord will take the word. And sometimes in your sleep, the Lord will begin to digest the word to your spirit. This time, Usually, usually when I get uh, uh, when I have someone speaking to me about what scriptures mean that I don't understand. Are you with me, brethren? It is so I'm going to wake you up. You have brought the night watch here. No, when you speak about waking up, you wake up, brethren. Amen. Amen.
Remove your pen and you write. This watch from 9 up to 12 midnight, it is very hard. But it is so joyful. Why? Because there the Spirit of God is getting the word that you read when you are going to sleep. And you see those I think that you speak with you during the night. That want to you, you go to sleep. You are from watching the TV. You have watched the Nigerian movie. He was walking and he found his friend and he disappeared. He disappears. And you go with that to your sleep. And let me tell you, when the Spirit of God comes, you will, not, you will find nothing in you. The Spirit of God works on His word. He only takes what you have put in you. He can use it for you. He can use it for you. So when you go to bed without a verse, without a line, without, line, without, line, without, line, without intercession, line, you make yourself empty and you become an open door for evil dreams to torment you as you sleep. You start dreaming. Mm-hmm. And you are following. Hey. Because for him, he's seeing himself fighting with some people. The only way to sleep is the good condition. The last thing you did is read the word and even pray. And you say, Amen, and you go to your sleep. Do not end with wrestling. Do not end with wrestling. Do not end with Nigeria's movie, say amen. You're looking at me as if you don't do this. You end the day with the word of God. Read some of I shall not want. He leads me besides seal waters. Go to sleep. You dream while passing through the, the garden. Which has even flowers. But when you sleep without the word of God. You dream this dream. A black cow. When you are in Even there are some rocks. This side there is a hole. And even there is a hole. And when you turn like this. And you say small man. Who is there? And ask, should I go to the other man to take me? Or should I fight with the cow? And you wake up there in the middle. And you come to the pastor. And what does that dream mean? It means that you didn't pray. Simple. Chango. <laughs> You can dream them for a week and from dreaming cows you dream holes. You can dream when they are chasing you and they chase you and you get tired and you wake up when they are still chasing you. Those are the dreams of people who have failed. What shows that you don't pray? Your spirit was meant to be built up. The food for your spirit is prayer and the word of God. Once you do those two every day, you are building up a spiritual mind that can even fight in your sleep. Hey, when I have dream dreams when I'm, I'm doing when I'm when I'm asleep and I beat them. What Jews in the say? Back then I dreamed when the field. There are some people who might teach me. I didn't understand the people of playing with football. And I scored. And the world was so and we prayed and prayed again. And I saw Pastor Taka in the dream. I gave him the ball. And he also scored. And we made two goals. We in the dream. We are the winning team. You can dream in a football match. When they are even not even you are not seeing the people. You winning. don't have even a referee. And you wake up. And you ask the pastor. What does that mean? It means that you do not pray. 
There is no way that you're going. You have no plan. Your spiritual mind. Prayer is to your spirit what breath is to your physical body. Prayer is to your spirit what breath is to your physical body. So, in, in other words, if you don't breathe in for more than 10 seconds, what will happen? You will faint. If you don't pray, what will happen? Your spiritual man will, die, will start to die. And once your spiritual man starts to die, you are an open door for every demonic attack for witches to attack you, when, when, you, when you are prayerless your spirit can act when you, when you are prayerless and your spirit is dead without an illumination you can actually go to bed and sleep and wake up and remember nothing in the night Know that you ate anything, but because you You know that God made you in a man. He's not supposed to sleep. This body is one who sleeps. You in a man does not sleep. You might sleep here. And, and you go to Nigeria while your body is here. <laughs> Elijah Gehaz. That where you from Gehaz. And Gehaz that I was Elisa around. And let's say that my spirit. Didn't you go when you went to, to meet Nehaman and ask him for the riches that he refused and he said that labor of him is going to you Elijah Eli Eli but he told Nehaman that my spirit didn't he go with you hey. your spirit it, a human is a complex being you can be here and see things in Japan. So that, that ability God has given to men. But the born again, we fear to reach that level. We left it to the witches. A witch. They used to tell us there in Intuitwe. From there, move in there and you go. That they can even make those dead bodies to dig. When you are asleep, they send ghosts. You spend the whole night digging. You wake up when you're tired, your inner man is tired, and even your body is tired. And you say that this I, I wake up when I'm tired. I sleep when I'm so tired. Because at night, because you was so sleepy, the one who knows how to use you, use you. But the woman can even check them. So what happened to me at night? You can be violated. But let me tell you something. When you start praying, your spirit becomes alive. And it stays alert. Even, even when you are sleeping, your spiritual man is watching. You can go into battle. In the middle of the night, your spirit can fight. Depending on how much word you invested in him, how much time of prayer you invade, invested. Last week I had a dream and I woke up and told my wife, I, in a dream, I was flying. I was flying. I was flying. Flying and I wondered. In the dream, I remember that I, I was flying. And I was passing over the trees. Flying over the buildings. Amazing. Well, 
I was flying. distance. And I, and I landed safely like an aeroplane. And I was amazed that I was able to, f- to fly using my hand. But that's what they are, that's the ability of a spiritual man. The inner man. But if you do not pray, there remains there. the night hours. You wake up. They tell you. You slept. And the down the mouth. It was looking for the. It was not seeing it. And they ask you. That. You slept looking this side. When you wake up, you are looking at the And you are like this in the bed. And even the people you had slept with. You, you don't even know the, the way you reach there. You cannot remember. But when you start to pray, with a, a, an, an active prayer life, it's amazing you can sleep. But you can still hear. You can rest in the middle of the night. But you can still stay active. Haven't you ever woken up when you're singing? Have you ever woken up when you're crying? Many, many times I've woken up with the song of worship. And actually woke up with physical tears in my eyes. And yet my body was so deep in sleep. But my spirit went into deep worship. Sometimes deep intercession. Man was created to live in this this these two worlds. You can live here and have impact. You can be active in the spiritual realm through your spirit, through prayer. So, so this second watch is important because you need the word. Don't, don't, don't pray but don't leave this watch without Putting the word of God in your life. Say amen. The one who is sleeping, say amen. Those are not sleeping, say amen. Let me finish with this. Let me finish with the third hour. The other has been on them on Wednesday. The third watch starts from midnight to 3 a.m. It's called the third watch. Judges 16.3. And Samson lay low till midnight. Then he arose at midnight took hold of the doors of the gate of the, of the city and they took gate, po- gate posts pull them up bar and all nemita <laughs> yimba and put them on his shoulders and carry them to the top of the hill that faces Hebron. <laughs> this is one of the stories. So the city says, let's, let's, let's lock the city and cross Samson in. So when we shall wake up, when, he, when he's sleeping, we shall go and kill him. And they locked him inside the city. Guess what? Like any human being, they all went to sleep. What time? Midnight? To 3 a.m. That's the third watch. Samson wakes up at midnight. He understands the operation of time. He understands the function of time at this time. He went. When they are sleeping, he did not open the gate. He pulled the gate that they had locked. They had locked it. They had no way. They had towered and they had no way. They not ask for the keys. He just called it and put it with those posts and carried it up to ginger calori. By the time they woke up, the one who had the keys removed it, and the, the, the door was not there. Midnight. Midnight. Midnight is the time 
of opening doors and pulling down strongholds, pulling down gates of the enemy. This watch is very important. Acts 16, 25 and 26. But at midnight, Acts 16, 25, at midnight, Paul and Silas we are praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison were shaken and immediately all doors were opened and everyone changed were loosed. What time is Paul and Silas singing? What time? What time? Midnight. We are brethren. No time. At what time? Ask him at what time. The one we have read right here. <laughs> Not this one. Sawa meka sairas ne sira zeba imbira. At what time this sairas? Mukago gwe chiro. Luache ba imba kusa tweze chiro. Why didn't they sing at midnight? Luache ba imba wude ne bucha. Why didn't they? Luache ba jia kusa tweze chiro. Why didn't they wait at midnight? Because these men were Jews. Kubanga basaja ba imba. And they understand. Kubanga ba chitegeira. How time operates? It's only we Africans who don't know when gates and doors open. Abata mani midi angu na mani sega guri wao. The Jewish people are you die? Very, very keen on time and seasons. So, Paul being a Jew, he understood if you find yourself in a prison, in a bondage, in something that's not breakable, something that can imprison you and imprison your family, something that is foundational, you wait until midnight. Why? Because at midnight, the Change of delivery that breaks chains and open prison doors starts operate from midnight to 3 a.m. These are specific angels. They are called angels of deliverance. So Paul understood this at midnight. He stands. God breaks chains. 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 The other prisoners, for them, they are just listening. They do not understand that this one, the time they time, they knew that if you start to pray at that 12th hour, and you say, let me worship, instead of snowing, the foundation of the prison were done what? We are shaken. At midnight, this watch, anything foundational, like a chronic poverty, chronic diseases, generational curses, things that have happened in your family for ages, they are not just happenings, but they have Taken a stronghold in the family. There are something left in the family. All of you as the family. There are some people I know. For them, they get rich at 25. They are 35, they all become poor. There are. 
the clan buri mwana muwala every female watoka mu miaka 17 when she reaches 17 years afuna olubuto she gets pregnant bon, ne bali okabadde mu ne basoma and there they go to school again bona all of them mama boyali the mother was like, boyali, having the grandmother e, bona basoma bukulu and even know them see to chili foundation cha misinji bible ega the bible says ndiko samu kagogo that we love in life paul and silas paul and silas bali womba mulyango kwa gehena gutakunguka amen amen Ladies and gentlemen, that hour is so crucial. Unto you, those who are not thinking they are passing. You get married and you go away. Bagobawa no this is your time. Hey, you don't no sleep at this time. If you are d- dealing with curses. This is a time when witches, wizards, Which doctors are very active. Why? They understand. The only force that could stop them is sleeping. The angels are moving to and flow. They are looking for someone worshiping in the presence of God. They are looking because they are released at this moment in time. To come and find someone who shows himself loyal to God so that they can show himself strong on that person's behalf. But guess when men sleep? Deep sleep. What time do people sleep? You ask your neighbor. At 12 night, what do you remember? Mubuze ntisamukaga ask him that at 12 of in the night what do you remember <laughs> the change jukira for me what i remember samukaga at 12 of nazukuse i woke up ngo mutwe guno when my head guli mutu guli ko tulera tulera ya cement it had a trail of cement nenzira that's that's night nazukuse e chireche chine chake sura de From the home that the the wife looked at the time <laughs> at 12 it was scary and i slept again because i had my head. a trail of cement coming from kenya and i slept again and i thank god the one woke me at the ridge When I woke up at there I said to love it to refuse but to help me God At 3 a.m. I woke up and I sat there and I prayed and I saw an eye closing itself and I wiped it and said I managed to finish Even if you laugh I, for you what do you remember <laughs> <laughs> at 12 in the night some of you are here you don't know that there is even 12 in the night because up from the time they gave back to you have never seen it ezo those hour omuwi like the, these are the most spiritual hours the sawe zomoyo both in the heavenly realms Moguru. and in the dark world the demonic is very active but on god's side the angels that are released are without number let me show you something in exodus 11:4 and 5 Then Moses said, Musa yogera. That say the Lord. What were you getting? About midnight. Kumasekati kukumsa mbogeze. I go out into the middle in midst of Egypt. Nage na masekati gemisi. And all the first born in the land of Egypt shall die. Ya bere bere bi Moses yemisi bonaba na afa. From the first born of Pharaoh. Okuba kumebe wa Pharaoh. Who sits on his throne? Atula kuna mulondo. Even to the first born of the female servant. No bere bere yo womo. Who is behind the hand mill? O yali mabega wa. And all the first born of animals. No bere bere we nsorozo na. Exodus 12. Echa mateka 29. Abiri mwe and it came to pass at midnight that the lord struck all the firstborn in the land of egypt 
from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of livestock. When did the Lord go out? Midnight. Why midnight? God sets time and seasons. He has said, and he has said, that the midnight is going to be active. This is when those who want to see the hand of God in the miracle signs and wonders, those who want to be used of God mightily under the anointing, one of the sages of Katonda, Baba Kolera, one no. Here, this time works for the men of God. They know the sour. These are the hours. Manufactures men of God. Anointed men of God who are full of the Holy Spirit who are moving under the anointing who carry the anointing of deliverance and, and, and healing. Powerful preachers, prophets, apostles are made in this hour. Why? Because God goes out. Sour Mukag at 12 in the night Sawa mukage Kampala. Twelve AM in Kampala. O Jovoge Motokayo. You drive your car. O Gende. And you go. Oji Simbe. And you park it. Buri Awari get Yeshibuga. On every gate of the city. Ojakwe Unyaba Gabe Mutia Muchibuga. You get amazed by the rich people you see in the city. Sawa mukage ba ingiri Yeshibuga. At twelve they enter the city. Ngaba ina containers of musai. When they have containers of bread. Bagenda baziwa ginger kalo. They go point. Kumuliango gwa banka. On every door post of the bank. Kumuliango gwa parliament. Every door of the parliament. Every gate. That enter into power and authority. They are people. In the morning, they are asleep in the Kampala. But at 12 in the night. They enter the city. And they go dripping blood. On the doorposts of the banks. All the forex bureaus. All the big companies. Born again, what are you doing? Where was it? Or you are sleeping. No, you are going to And you wake up at nine. The born again with hands that it does. Why are you here? Yawning. Okuva ekasese paka Mombasa. From Kasese to Mombasa. No kwegolola. And even stretching. From Johannesburg to Cairo. Okuva Johannesburg paka Cairo. Orununa kuro muloko ni rutandika. They are the day of the born again that started. Bali. The, those people, Baba Baba for them they have already done their things. By the time they enter the, the city, you go to their bank, you go to their shop. They are the one who give you the money and the cement. They sell cement. They have hotels. That's how the Indians have been able to take over the city. They practice witchcraft. But the Indians work at night. Those are their things. But the born against for you, you stretch on the border border. That man, man is so scarce. <laughs> man is then in Kampala. Two weeks I was in the bank. And I told Muchalaka, so you give me five minutes. No, the, the man even was not um, enough I had. Na the man came. I went before me and get into the line and he made a phone call and the friend came he had a suitcase the one for us he he the bank. for him he brought it to the bank and I look and the Bible says that you look and they open the suitcase and 15 notes and they arrange it and it was to this level and they even arrange another bundle for me I want a little money and the question and I ask that that Mr. Can you tell him that man is lost? For me, he has brought a suitcase. And I was there. Another person came. He had brought a backpack. Side zombie, he had brought a backpack. And they arranged the man on the other group. For me, what helped me? That I know the, tailor, the two tailors. 
Then the other one told this one with the man, let me first work on this ne man. Peter. And they called me. Ne and they worked on me. And I thanked God. And I went and get amazed that for me I've taken <laughs> this one. This one I've bought suitcase. This one I've bought suitcase. You cry in silence. Man. People have money. All those buildings you're seeing, they are not built with money. Money is used to build them. Those who have power, they have the watch that they've taken over. And those watches, they rule over those who sleep. The people in the morning service, I told them. For me, I practiced. One day, my me, that let us go to. That I helped them to cut some things and I carried. And they reached nine. That's why I understood that they have gone to practice. They told me you sleep there. And for them, they went to the shrine. They don't because they are not of their clan. I'm not, I was not around in their circle they had made. And they told in the end when it reached. They started praying their drums. And they sang their song. For me, what I remember, the girl that went to school with, she was in P7. I saw her and started to knock to shake the head. And Nabuzana has come Sawa at 12, Sawa at 1. When they are making when it's right there like three and she and she start to speak saying that keep quiet they and they gave, they gave them instructions that's what I remember I don't remember the instructions at 12 in the night at 3 they are drugged in the silence. And even the show was asleep. Was, who was practicing their witchcraft. They were asleep. No one was hearing. That hour from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. It has its own power. The Bible said that the angel of God made Miss Egypt to cry at that hour 12 a.m. Everything that was done against you, incarnations, spells, curses, witches, witchcraft, everything that every agenda, every evil agenda was released, usually released at this time. Here, we have caught several witches. There is someone who is supposed to see at two. From this side, passing here, coming back. But maybe he was rotating around this village taking over it in the spiritual realm. And when you are spending the night here praying, I saw him that the man used to walk to come. And I told him, we have chased the witches in praying and you are tired. Let us get some canes. At 2 a.m., and we, and we called him. We are looking for thieves. The password that you, you don't have authority to capture him. We are tired of the witches here. There are some who, some who there and some who are used to. And these who refuse to say that we are going to claim them. For me, I'm going, uh, there I'm going somewhere. They told him that we're a thief. And he wanted him to speak that for and me and black man. They the slap that we gave him to that if you pass here again, you are going to, are going to take you to the police. That one who ever came him. And Coach Alice told me one time he was there. 
there in the field. And the woman came from there. And she was from in the suit of Adam, naked. And she was running. And she passed here. At 12. Two and three. One and three. One used to come from there. That time. And you used to take the people there to do his there. If we knew her, we are going to beat her, to beat her at 12. Here we have caught many thieves. 12 of 1 and 2. Those are the hours. The thieves still. And if you can move you off the bed and take even your mattress. And even can even give serve himself food. Even my source. They don't fear those thieves of Why? Why? Because that's when the church sleeps. It's not that because the, the devil is powerful. It's it's the man. body gets tired. And so this hour, you need to start revising. If you have foundational things, you need to start thinking about waking up this watch for a season of time. Until you break something that was built against you, any, any demonic agenda that was released against you cannot only be broken in this watch. Prison foundation are shaken, prison doors are uh, 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 open. Judgments are, are passed against spiritual, spiritual dark. The spiritual demonic forces. Can see me can. Let me end with this. First King 3.20. So she rose in the middle of the night. First King 3. She rose in the middle of the night. And took my son from my side. While my ma- your maid servant slept and laid him in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. This is one of the cases that made King Solomon very famous. Two women came fighting for the same baby. They, they both gave birth at the same time. And the, uh, the Bible says one of the women slept on the baby and the baby died. Have you Slept heard that? on the baby. This is what you need to understand about sleep. When you sleep, you sleep sometimes you sleep on your vision. You sleep on your future. You sleep on your destiny. You sleep on everything that could have added value to you. I'm just reminding you. So, when they slept, this woman sleeps on her baby. And so, when they woke up, one of the babies was dead. At midnight, the woman who lost the baby took the baby of the other woman and covered the dead one. She took the living one because she, she was scared to tell people that I slept on the baby and died. So when they woke up, they started fighting for the living baby. And the case came before King Solomon. He's been in the throne a few days. And Solomon says, You know what? Let's do the simplest thing. Cut the living baby in two and give each woman a half. So the real mother said, Aha! At least give her the baby. But I don't want my son to die. And King Solomon said, The other one said, No, I don't care. Let me take a half. Solomon said, This, this is the woman. This is the real mother. And that case made him famous. But the, 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 my... my, my, my motive for this scripture is when the mother of the living baby was sleeping her baby was exchanged with a dead body at what time 
At what time? At Munzini, at what time? At midnight. I want to finish so that you can understand. The ladies and gentlemen, destinies, blessings, future, blessings can be exchanged if you sleep. That that marriage was mine. That man was mine. That was what happened when men sleep? What happened? And we are there in it. And someone can take out your blessing or your sleep. Why? Because the spiritual is. At 12 of 1 and 3, they open it. Their God has moved out. He said that that's me. Even if it is half the kingdom, I'll give it to you. But that that hour. There is no born again who's hearing. Go awake. My grandmother used to say that they are thanking the one who built. You can find them, the husband and the wife, they are snoring. They are asking Tom. Yes. <laughs> Brethren, I'm going to get you to get out of sleep so that you can start to prep to when you are well off. We are not saying that you pray all this. Walua walua there is a time when you are late, when you have overcome and at 12 even if you sleep no one can attack you. You have to when there is something that use you Pastor, I feel him when he's coming. When he's coming. And he opens. And he opens. And he gets to my page. But the, the, the energy to fight for myself, I don't have it at 12 in the night. And that thing uses me. And after using me, it, go, it goes around, I'm hearing it. <laughs> Wake up. Those dreams come. That is the time you are supposed to be awake. So that 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 time finally when you are sleeping. When you are praying. In the name of Jesus. I am calling upon the blood. I cancel. I call upon the angels. Those who break prison gates. Who shake foundation. Those who shake foundation. They bring the point my foundation. The blood of people. They come by my name. They name me. The name me. That I'm in the name of Jesus. Everywhere they come that sinner went to That Mutaisa. Other names. Nanta Saga. Those names. That he was was the 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 those battles you fight them at 12 of a.m. But some of you wake up at 12 a.m. When the, the angels are around. He's standing there with a plate of food. Angels. Hope me to fight. He has brought an, uh, a letter. For him he's not a fighter. For me, they have told me to bring for you food. For me, I can't fight. I don't have any responsibility know to fight. Know your time. Understand the prayer watches. They will help you. Some of you have started from there. Those two watches. The watches, the Everything they did to it, they did from that time. That's where they initiate you. At twelve, that's where they nicknamed you from other. How, how many of you have ever? If you have ever become a mayor, uh -huh. at what time they do it? Eh, ne basfulumia orumbe. 
As you've understood, stand up. Oh no, sir. Will you pray? Oh no, sir. Will you pray? Oh no, sir. Will you pray? Abu Zakrina, you know, sir. Ask your neighbor, will you pray? Oh no, Zukuka. Will you wake up? I want every person to say that I not yet said to pray my two hours and 40 minutes. You have still failed to start. Come here and I pray for you. You come here and we pray for the grace of God. The Bible says not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God. Mukama imuka abalabi. Tunule nonga bo wanise mikono. You look this side where is up raising up. Abalabi basa sani. Abalabi basa sani. Mukama imuka. Mukama imuka abalabe basasane Mukama Mukama imuka Oh, Abala Beba Sasani Mukama Imuka Abala Beba Sasani Mukama Imuka Mukama Imuka Abala Imuka Abala beba sasani mukama imuka abala beba sasani mukama o mukama imuka mukama i o mukama imuka mukama i Mukama i muka, muka ma i, muka muka ma i muka, muka ma i, muka wala we baduke, muka ma i, muka komera li baduke, muka ma i. Mukafena tu loko ke, mukama i, muke chiro tu zuku ke, mukama i, muko kusaba tu sabe, mukama i, oh Yesu i muka, mukama i. Mukama i muka, mukama i muka fena tu angule, mukama i muke mizi muji duke, mukama i muka fena tu loko ke. Oh, 
Je suis going to pray for you. You are going to be given the grace to pray from today onwards. And you are going to overcome in the name of Jesus. There will be victory for you. Oh, you want to thank you for this time. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Thank you because I was born and I told you. Enchaya <laughs> Basobole mukama wa baka mokuzuka baku nonye Kubangoli katondo mwesi kwa Mukama bano mwonamba sabida Mukama tuja wobu nafu Tukwa atamanyi Tuja wamanyi agechi zikiza Agajiro rusi mumbela yoturo Nga situlontu tunotulotu wabuli jo Na yomu tulwageza kwa kuzukuka Wabela wechi muzi hizo kusaba Mukama echo tuchija wolu na kuruwa alero Abana ba mukama tuvaleta masoko Bamba ze chise chenja ulo Abasaja bali mu masoko mukama Bamba ze chise chenja ulo Omoyo mutu kufuba wamanyi Abachala abaze masoko Bawe chise chamanyi mukama okunonya Kubanga mukama wotarite tuyisa Omoyo mutu kufutu kukowola Kamubula mubu awebo na Omoyo wokuwe gairida Nisabo kwe kubantu abadi wano Kwa kubasajja na abakaza abadi mumasoko Muka mabafuno kuyaya no kui okusaba Obazukuse mutumbi mchido Bazukuse wakati mchido Basoboro kuzuku kamo kama bakunonye Kumangoli katonda ya subizo mwesika Ogamba muka mabakunonye bakulaba Nabano muka mansaba bakulabe Ngabazukuse mchido kunonya Ngabaso wa doku wa urobu doku nonya Mukama bamba ze chisa Bamba za manyi Baso wa dhese mkwano kwange Emibili eminefu mukama jiwa manyi Emibili emiru wa dejita So wala kuzuku kwa mukama jiwonye Kuwango li katondo muonya wafe Yesu ye chechi so wala kule ma Mukama sabana bano bamba za manyi O bamba ze chisa Era mukama mbala angiri la kechi sacho Mbalangiri la kechi sacho Mbalangiri la komoyo wokwe gajidida Nti agenda bagwa koka akano Musobole ngo kwe gajida ngo butakowa Musobole kuluwa nangen talozo moyo muzi wangule Kubanga katonda wafasobole la dala Echiti wanetendo mukama tuchikutiza Bionatu visabiyo na ukwe vaza Ngatu itamuli nyeli ya mukama afe Yesu Kristo Amina Concerning prayer, you give more hand love to the Lord for that cause. The Bible says you pray.
The Bible says you pray and you don't receive because you don't pray well. Don't get it is to that that I've known that you wake up and pray, but the prayer is not in that very season of waking up. The Amen. Just know that when I start prayers in the evening from 6 to I'm interceding for my family. I pray for my children. I declare healing in my family. So they and then don't start breaking a stronghold. The angels will start providing to you. This very week we are going to receive. Great How many are going to carry? I declare it to happen in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Holy Spirit really makes us fly. Let's clap hands to our pastor. Uh, on the 20th, on the 20th, on the 20th, October up to 27 the very, the very coming week 23rd will be next week we are going to be having our revival week it's going to be a powerful one that, that kind of clap is not really good but I urge you if you find a way of coming so that we may go deeper in issues of prayer. In revival week we are going to put things in practice. The things that we've been hearing So here. I beseech you you come and we pray together. With your brethren and everyone let them come. On the 26th the breakfast meeting. The men's ministry are going to have the breakfast meeting. It's going to start at 9 a.m. up to 11 a.m. The men you know are issues that we just come for a short time, but it's really powerful. Praise God. Welcome back the ladies. They were somewhere. Even as the men we are coming. Make a breakfast. Come out, outing here for your man. For the men, is outing is breakfast, but it's really powerful. So to suwa. So don't miss out. Eri na kuzo mwezinga abiri msamvu. On the twenty seventh. Ejakuba Sunday. It will be a Sunday. Ma marriage unveiled. Again, uh, to to our coping hotel. The marriage unveiled will be taking us to coping. To nyuemu kachai kafakaba fumu. Having a tea break as the marriage. The marriage clap hands for that. We are going to be there as usual. If for you, you think that you're already there, first come into the marriage unveiled coloping tea break, you will see what is there. Only 30,000 for our two people. Amen. Amen. Uh, the pastor was emphasizing e, about e, the challenge of e, tithing e, e, of tithing giving tithes for 90 days try your level best to give that you tithe as you, 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 you test out the heavens and if you will not see where the Lord is going to you and if you don't see any difference come and request for that come and request for your tithes which I give it to to you. You. But, not but not only money tithes is not only money even prayers. Tithes. You can tithe in very many ways. And even the first fruits. So, you utilize the 90 days. 
Every last Sunday of the month, we dedicate the children. So you can come and meet Mr. Admin with only 2,000 shillings for your child. And even the pastor would love to talk to you. And those people who are not yet baptized, the last Sunday in a month, you take baptism. I think you've heard that. Hallelujah. Amen. How many if it's your first time to come and fellowship with us? We want to welcome you in a very mighty way. We have many visitors today. You welcome the visitors one more time. Our visitors are very many here. Wow, visitors, please wow, raise up your wow, hands and wow. receive. Even the other side, we have a sister, and is a, she's a you know, sister. Worship center. This is Kawempe Worship Center. And it is known as Yesu Akwagala. I know of one thing, you are in the very right place. We love God. We indeed love God. And we believe in the Bible. Amen. Amen. If you've been looking for a church where you can grow up, come here, we shall pastor you. Our pastor who is leading us is Pastor Robert Kasozi. And even us other team to help you grow up. If you are looking for a church, we welcome you. In the place where you are seated, we have given it to you if you have given it to you if you come First. Amen. Amen. One pastor is going to see you after the ba service. The pastors will take you there. The ushers will take you there. So you will see our pastor there. Hallelujah. You prepare the money. Get your money you are going to give in the house of God. Take Mubasa. On 27, on 27, the youths, you reminded the youths after the second service, you will be meeting Pastor Susan Bukenya. Pastor Susan Bukenya will be leading you and will be talking about to focus. To focus. Pastor Susan is going to talk about focus. So be there. May God bless you. You stand up as we give. Stand up and we give. So that we may leave this place. This middle basket here is a building basket. And we will take a much 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 God, I pray for these people. As we are going to give, let us see your goodness. Let's see victory. Lord, we call it because it has ears. Let there be provision. There are people without, and yet they've brought it. The Bible says those people, they gave a lot. Even in their pocket, they continue to give. And you saw their hearts. God, I pray you bless these people. Bless the provider. Those without fees provide. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Come as rejoice singing. When you rejoice singing, because the one you're giving is really good. You give as if you're going to give to the I always see the people go when they are rejoicing. So you're going to give the king of kings. You're giving to the king of kings. Come rejoicing cheerfully. In the name of Jesus. May God bless you abundantly. May you bless the works of your hands. So those who are uh, in diaspora and you want to give, we, ha we have systems of, way of giving. If you want to send a, send a wave, it is a two plus 
565561. For those in diaspora, so you can send a send wave and to reflect Robert Kasozi, that's the number. Then merchant, we have MTN merchant code, Airtel merchant code. It brings the merchant code. For those who are having finances on your phones. You cannot, you can continue giving using those codes. If you want to become a born again, come. Someone who wants to give your life to Jesus. Another person. Another person. Another person. Kakati, seven cents of Kula Bagan, the Kuru Kamana, when you gain, I told you, Ogana Queen, Gramuki, so can I quit as I am. You are not going to go to hell. Amen. But I to him get to gain a waka, Kasoka, we are soon going to go to a Katako Soka. You Raise up your hands. You pray a prayer for God. Lord, establish this Lord. Today has become a Salvation is you, we As we serve you, I thank you for that boy who has In heavens, there is celebration. So let him enter into that You break all that May you crown him with victory. Let him be a man of Israel. 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 Let him be in the name of our Lord Jesus, Amen. Amen. He has become a born again. He's called Yahweh. No more la wun, no more. No more la wun. All people who want to become born again, come here at once, all of you. Gamba Yesu. You Seven cents of Kulaba. You are most welcome. Aba Asha Mariwa Gusev. Asha has helped these people out. Yeah. Okay. Tumazoku Wai. We are done. And come Kulangi Komux. Let me declare a blessing. Nangi Romukisoko Kakawasa. I declare a blessing. Omukisoko Dari Mukufa. A blessing without a blessing. Omukisoko Leta sent a ninja. A blessing that Omukisoko Sulama Banja. A blessing that went 
Mukama kuwechisa Okulabu obulunji weno wiki Kulangiri ya kubulamu Obulamu butali mkuluwala Mulinyari ya mukama fi yesu Era nangirira Uli akuchawa Akuwala na Ata kuagaliza Bible ye gamba Njoo ya jasa sana Mumakubo msambu Mukama kubile kubo Awatali kubo Katonda kwa kito wenye bui Mulinyari ya mukama fi yesu Bite vinduwe bitali mnyumba yo Bita andiko kuja Kumanga bilina ama tu Dagira Uganda Ekwebi apabio Dagira Kampala Ekwebi kuatako Mulinyari ya mukama fi yesu Bita abantua Aba kukuna njizibu wako Aba tukiza magenda ku Baje Ba kunonye Ba kuegateko Wikeno mulinyari ya yesu Kendo sasulama banyo Kendo olievulu unji Kendo ya ambalevulu unji Mulinyari ya mukama fi yesu kwisto Tonja kufa Tonja kufisa Tonja kuluwala Tonja kuluwaza Mulinyari ya mukama fi yesu Ewe nabi kubeko Let all happen to you Ngami ebe nabi kuvereko Let it all happen to you Toku bango wewe tangalo Ebe ebe nabi tukile mula muwa mulinyari ya yesu Aleluya Tuge nda kuvera wano We are going to be here Nejaru ne choto loko ne choto Revival week uwele ege nda kubaya amani The revival week is here we are all going to be here Tewe nabi loko sabamu mwe mtu kufu ya tubu usiza Don't forget to pray the Holy Spirit and God Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Eronda waka kadi kamu You can pick one card Wali waka like satuneta ano One card thirty one card Otu wali leko mikwano jona habana bone You can let people Wali waka satwe satu Na keta aneta ano There is one of thirty thousand and fifty thousand Tunja kubane jeba ita We shall be 